Yes, Road Safe America is an organization my wife Susan and I started, and we've been working to reduce the number of crashes uh, and resulting injuries and, and deaths in this country in, involving big rigs. Uh, the thing we're pushing right now and hoping to get into law is something we've been working on for over a decade. Uh, the U.S. is the last leading country on earth without such a rule, and that rule uh, would simply require that our heaviest trucks set their already existing speed limiting capability at a reasonable top speed so that, frankly, they're able to stop safely or nearly stop in an emergency. Today, they can't stop in anywhere near the same distance that the cars they share the road with can. Well, we think it's reasonable to expect we'll see the same results that other countries have seen. Um, in the UK and in Ontario, they've seen a reduction of 25% in crashes and deaths. And in, sadly, in our country, we're seeing an opposite trend. There are crashes and injuries and deaths. Um, crashes are up by 44%, injuries by 50%, and deaths by 20%. So we think using the equipment that's already on the truck would help us benefit in the same way. Well, there's no question. Uh, lots of the safest companies in our country already voluntarily use the speed limiters, like I said, that are automatic or are already set uh, uh, in these uh, size trucks capability and have been for over 20 years. And they'll all tell you they're in fewer crashes, especially the kind that they're at fault for, so they save the liability costs involved there. They also save a lot of money on fuel and maintenance because their tires and brakes both last longer. Well, what we hear from some truckers is that that would affect their pay because sadly truckers are paid by the mile. So their incentive is to drive fast and far so that they can make more money. The other thing we hear sometimes is that this could cause speed differentials. In other words, the trucks are going slower so there's a threat that cars would run into the back of trucks. But I don't think many of us are frightened by the thought of a slow moving truck. And we already see speed differentials on our highways now. No one's driving exactly the same speed. And in other countries, for example, the Audubon, where trucks are limited to, at a speed of 56 miles per hour and cars can go as fast as they want, we don't see those kind of results. So we just think that's not a valid argument. Well, they're looking for input, and, and we hope that your audience will provide it. Uh, we made it simple to do through our website, roadsafeamerica.org. Uh, if you go there, we, we've got it, on our homepage, it'll literally be flashing in your face and, and take you to uh, the, the USDOT page. Uh, we hope your audience will obviously say whatever they think, but we hope one of the points that they'll make strongly is that obviously this should, rule should apply to existing trucks not just new ones. Amazingly, the proposed rule would only apply to new ones. And this capability, like I said, has been there for 20 years on most of those size trucks. And by the way, the reason it's been there for so long is because so many countries already required that they be set back then. It's high time that the U.S. catch up with the rest of the world and stop being a third world country in this regard. It's embarrassing and shameful and terribly wasteful. roadsafeamerica.org